Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a lovely day. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to create a card for Spellbinders using the Large Die of the Month Club Kit for May 2021. This month the Club Kit is more stitched um, dies, but you know what? Just because it says stitched on here, guys, doesn't mean, I mean, even though you can stitch and it's gorgeous, um, it's a little work of art um, if you used your stitch detail, you don't necessarily have to use it um, with a needle and thread. So today we're going to make a pretty clean and simple birthday card um, using the card front die here. I love the stitch detail um, on all of these dies that Spellbinders came out with only because it looks so dainty. You can see here. Um, I love polka dots anyway. So when you add dots um, for stitch detail, it just looks dainty. And I thought we would just color in each of these florals um, with some soft colored Copic markers. I did die cut out my card front panel with Nina Classic Crest Solar White um, just so I could do a little blending. I really am not doing too much. I'm just using um, my colorless blender to blend out, but I'm just going in some um, brush strokes over each of the florals, not going all the way to the edge. I kind of wanted to keep it really soft and wispy. Um, is what how I can explain it. Um, I did speed the video up here, but the largest flowers I used um, an R marker, which was a corally color, and then for some smaller flowers I used an orangey yellow, and then um, used a real soft blue, a soft pink, and then I did color in the leaves with um, almost like a limeish green color, but I love the way this turned out. Sometimes I know um, our lives are hectic and we don't have time to stitch, and so I thought I would give you an alternative on how to use this die set. I, I know I often do this um, just to give you options. Options are good sometimes, <laughs> but once I'm done coloring, it doesn't take any time at all. I love the way how soft this looks with that dotted detail, um, and so I thought, we have that big old open area in the middle. We will, we're gonna bring in the clear stamp of the month club kit for this month. There's some fun sentiments in here and big and small, and I thought it'd be perfect for my card today. Um, but this is pretty on its own, but I thought we would go one step further and create a shaker with it. <laughs> so let's bring in some acetate that's a card front panel size, and um, we'll just flip this panel over, and using my tape runner, I'll add adhesive around the edge and then we're gonna add our clear view sheet right over the top and then um, create a shaker. Now, if you wanted to double up on your foam tape, your sequins would move a lot more. I'm only gonna go one thin single layer with my foam tape around that edge. I just use my scissors to trim it down some thin strips. This way the, shake, the sequins won't shake as much. I wasn't sure if I wanted to put the sentiment on the inside of my window um, or on the outside. And I think I opted for the outside only because I didn't want my sequins to cover up the sentiment. The fonts in this month's clear stamp set are so pretty and they're all different sizes too. Um, and so I thought we would go for a birthday card. I am bringing my circle um, essential dies. These have the same dotted detail as my cover, um, my card front. And so I thought it'd go really good. Um, tape the dotted detail on the inside of my circle, die cut it out, and we're going to take our happy birthday sentiment. Um, it says happy birthday wishes and it fit just perfect in there. I wasn't sure if I should put hello sweet friend. Um, both would fit in this little circle, but opted for a birthday card. <laughs> I placed my little circle in my Misty. I actually tacked it down with my, my tape runner and I'm stamping my sentiment with my VersaFine Onyx Black ink and it it's gonna work out lovely and I love the dotted detail around my sentiment as well. Let's add that thin strip of foam adhesive and then for my sequins I'm gonna add just some clear sequins. I didn't want to overtake um, my shaker with sequins. I wanted to keep it very soft because I love that dotted detail and with the dotted detail there's a lot going on so you don't want to do bright colors of sequins. So just adding a clear mix and I'm adding, this looks like a lot to me, but I should have added more actually, because I um, 
there's a lot of extra room in there. My sequins actually shook around, but we're going to remove the release paper off of the edge of our card front here and then place this over our sequins. I put the sequins actually on my card base, which is a standard A2 size card base. We're just lining it up and you can see how they move really nice too. So I think the more full you have it, the less they move, but it still kept it pretty soft. Now, since there is um, dotted detail in my sentiment, I took some white twine. This is whipped cream twine. Um, I threaded it through two of the dots on my little sentiment circle. Worked out perfect. <laughs> and I'm going to just tie a bow right above the sentiment, keeping it, um, keeping it, um, this would be actually a good Mother's Day card too. Replacing this, the birthday sentiment with Happy Mother's Day, I think that would be really nice. I'm just going to tie a bow right above there, trim the tails, and then I'm going to finish it off with a couple of my color essential gems. The ones that I'm using is the silver mix. I'm using the diamond colored ones in the silver mix, and I just dotted a few of the pink flowers and the yellow flowers. But that's my card today using the Large Die of the Month Club Kit, giving you an option um, on creating with it without the stitch detail. But it is awful pretty without it or with it. But thanks so much for joining me. Have a fabulous day. We'll see you soon, guys. Bye-bye.